Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I created this look. While I was recording, I was getting kind of stressed out because it just wasn't looking how I wanted it to look. But um, in the end, I actually like it. I accidentally like overlined my lips a little more than I intended to, but shit happens. And also, um, so if this camera looks a lot more better in quality, it's because I'm using a different one. Um, I mean, it's the exact same camera as the other one that I have. The only difference is that that's the Canon um, R600 and this one's the Canon R500. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and really enjoyed this look. I'm actually really, really happy with this. And yeah. Hi guys. Alright, so I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush and then I'm just going to take this color right here called Private Chateau um, just to set everything. I'm going to go into Makeup Geek's Preppy and I'm taking that on a MAC 224 brush. And I'm using a light hand with this. And big motions, big circular motions. And I'm also just being kind of messy with this. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to go into my Morphe 35K palette and I'm going to use my Morphe M443 brush and pick up this color right, he right here to um, deepen it up. And I'm going to place this in my crease and bring it up into my transition. I'm going to take that MAC um, 224 brush and then just blend some more. For the lid, I'm going to use this duochrome eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and it is absolutely freaking gorgeous like a purple base with teal reflex or whatever and it is just gorgeous so what I'm gonna do is take this morphe flat shader brush wet it with some of this smashbox primer water you don't even need to use um, any makeup sprays or anything you can just run it under um, the sink if you want that's what I used to do and then I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid and I'm just gonna um, dip this directly into the bottle Oh, and by the way, the name of the name of this is um, Secret Gardens. And then I'm gonna just rub it on at first. And with the same eyeshadow, um, I think I'm gonna cut out my lid.
What I'm gonna do is go into this Tarte Away We Go palette. So I'm gonna take this color right here. It's This color is called Midnight Stroll. And I'm gonna take that on a crease brush and then use light pressure to put that in my crease. I'm not necessarily trying to blend the two together. I'm sorry that I'm not talking a lot in this video or like really saying what I'm doing. It's because I'm kind of nervous with like how this is going to turn out and stuff. Like, so I think I might just keep the look like this just because I'm really liking it. I might darken it up just a bit. I'm going to go back into that same purple and just... Try and smoke this out just a tad. I feel like I kind of over blended this. Okay, not bad. And for brow highlight, I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you can buy it individually at Urban Decay or Sephora. It's called Zeph Zephyr. And I'm gonna take that on my MAC 239 brush. So I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush, pick up Preppy again, and place that on my lower lash line. I didn't mean to bring it down this low. I think I'm going to go directly into that purple. Take Midnight Stroll on the Morphe M433 brush and then just put that closer to my lash line. Alright, so for inner corner, I think I'm just going to take another... I'm going to take um, Midnight Cowgirl by... Urban Decay and just put that lightly in my inner corner. MAC um, Soft and Gentle and Champagne Pop for my highlight and I'm going to take that on the Anastasia A23 brush. And then take what's left over and pat that on my chin and forehead. And I'm going to take Champagne Pop on my finger and highlight my nose. Okay, now I'm going to spray my face with Fix Plus. Alright, and now I'm going to do my eyelashes off camera and apply mascara and all of that stuff. So, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back and for lashes, I used the Lily Lashes in the Style Tees. And I went ahead and I did winged eyeliner. I'm still like new at winged eyeliner so I don't do anything that's like too thick or too 
dramatic. And then I took the Inglot number 76 white gel eyeliner. And then I took my MAC. Um, I don't know the number of this because it's smeared off, but I used this to just create like a white line under the winged eyeliner. I used the NARS Audacious Mascara on my lower lashes and I applied the Stila Cosmetics Eyeliner in Alpine and that's just like a white eyeliner on my waterline. I also took Secret Gardens on that same brush that I used to apply on my lid and then I just um, put it right on my eyelash line. And now for lips, I'm thinking, I don't know if I should do this purple lip with it. I don't know if I should use sepia. I'm gonna use sepia because this liquid lipstick is just bomb as hell. And this is how I like to um, overline my lip. What I do is like this little like um, X at the top of my lip. And it just kind of builds it up from there. So this is it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching and I will have my social medias, Instagram, Snapchat down in the description box as well as the eye products that I used um, and the eye brushes. Bye guys!